Charles Moorhead was born in Nelson County, Kentucky on July 7, 1802 to Charles and Margaret Slaughter Moorhead. In his youth, he was educated in the public schools. Moorhead attended Transylvania University and he joined the bar and practiced law in Christian and Franklin County. He farmed as well, owning plantations in Louisiana and Mississippi. He married Amanda Levy on July 10, 1823 and she died in 1829. And two years later, Moorhead married her sister, Margaret, and they had four children. He was a Whig, which was the dominant party in the state, and he held many offices. First, in 1828, he was elected to the state house. He was the attorney general from 1830 to 1835. Moorhead published a book with Mason Brown called Digest of the Statute Laws of Kentucky. He was a representative in the House from 1838 to 1840 and in 1844. He was the Speaker of the House three times. He became a representative in the U.S. House in 1847 until 1851. He changed his party to the American Party, also known as the Know Nothing Party. Moorhead became the 20th Governor of Kentucky in 1855 after defeating Beverly Clark. During the campaign, anti-immigrants and anti-Catholic issues were at the center. These came to a head with the election riots of 1855 in Louisville, also known as Bloody Monday. As governor, Moorhead was able to organize Transylvania University to a state school, and the school added a teacher college. However, it only lasted for two years. The geological survey started by Governor Lazarus Powell was completed during his term. The Kentucky State Agricultural Society was chartered in 1856 and a state fair was planned. The penitentiary was enlarged and he blocked the creation of unnecessary banks. He had a very successful, active first two years, but the last two years of his term were slowed by the economic panic of 1857. After his term as governor, Moorhead went back to practicing law. The Civil War began in 1861 and Moorhead was a pro-Southerner. He also favored Kentucky's neutrality. He was very critical of the Lincoln administration and ended up being imprisoned for disloyalty for four months. After being released from prison, he moved out of the country. After the war, he returned and lived in Greenville, Mississippi. He died on December 21, 1868 and is buried in the Frankfurt Cemetery. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Charles Moorhead the 20th governor of Kentucky. His first cousin was James Moorhead, the 12th governor of Kentucky. His election shows a controversial governor. He was elected on the platform of anti-immigration and anti-Catholics. His election coming off of Bloody Monday and the intimidation of voters and the possibility of voter fraud should be mentioned. He was also a slaveholder. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Or you can become a member of our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms. And check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.